Hello and welcome to Thompson High School Basketball. I'm Brian Marino and I'm here with my broadcast partner Andy. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm real good. I'm also here with my other normal broadcast partner, Drew. Drew, how are you? How you doing, Brian? I'm real good tonight. Now, uh, I know you talked with the Lowell coach before the game. What's their record now? Uh, I believe he told me they're five and eight. They've lost a lot of close games, but so is Chompson. They're, uh, I believe it's two and ten now. Uh, should be a pretty close game. Uh, as we get underway, we're going to see. We'll see what happens, Brian. Yeah, the thing about Chompson is they've only been blown out twice, and that's to a real talented Andover team. And I, I don't exactly know who the other team was. Uh, the other team was Bill Rick. It was their season opener. Uh, Dan McKay leads the MVC in scoring. Had a 36-point outing. You know that's tough to beat. And here we go, Rivadowski with the ball. Down to JT, Josh Turner shoots a three. Rebound, Matt Adamson. Right back out to Vinovsky. Adamson, a first year varsity player, getting the start tonight. Yeah, he's been playing pretty well, stepped right in there. Josh Turner with the ball, he drives the lane. Layup, it's good. Two nothing, Chelsea. Josh Turner's been a presence on the court all year. He's been a very succe successful so far. He has been. He scored a lot of points for Chelsea. He plays real hard. Low with the ball, looking inside, little jumper from the lane. You count it, two to two. The ball is passed to Ivanovsky, who is attempting to break the press. He is successful. He is successful. James Barry with the ball, worked right into Josh Turner. Turns and shoots. He misses, but a rebound by Pat McGuire right back and in. Pat McGuire is also having an excellent season. Well, he's, he's really the only remaining center that they have. You know, they had some kids that quit, and they had, they had some injuries from Alex Carvin, from his ankle, he can't really play. You know, he stepped up big. Three-pointer by Lowell. It's off the mark. Number 22 puts it right back. That's, that's Ryan Hackettstead. I don't know much about Lowell, but that was a nice finish. Ryan Vinovsky again trying to break the press. He does it with pretty much ease. Ball pass to Matt Adamson. And a, a travel is called. Did you see a travel, Drew? Uh, it was close. You know, it could have gone either way. You know, the referee felt it was a travel. Yeah, that's going to happen. Now, Andy, what do you think? Did you think that was a travel? I don't know. I couldn't really see it that well. I think the refs did a good job of, in their positioning. you got, you got to trust the refs. You know, they got that patch on their sleeve for a reason, Brian. Exactly. They do. Number 11, that's uh, Leo Martinez with the ball. Down to, I believe it's their center, number 33. Leo fakes a three. Back to number 33. It was Fred Condado. Ball right in number 23. It was stuffed by Pat McGuire, who's now breaking down the floor. Good Matt Adamson with the ball. He stops and pulls up. Oh, just, just a bit off, Drew. Oh, it, it went in and out. It's going to happen with these new rims. Matt Adamson got number 33 to the lane. They call it a travel. Definitely a travel, Brian. I saw it all the way. Good call by the referee. Yeah, there was definitely steps there. James Barry's going to attempt to pass the ball in now for Chelmsford. He's looking. There's a press still on by Lowell. Vinovsky gets the ball again. Vinovsky does dribble very well, but not through two people. You may have jinxed him right there, Brian, as he turned the ball over. And Lowell. Lowell's with a shot. And they miss. Lowell's not looking real sharp tonight. You know, they're 5-8. and eight. Chelmsford's 2-10. and ten. Uh, neither team is very good, but it should be a good game tonight. Yep, definitely. And there's a jump ball called, which will stay right down here. Low ball. We passed in by number 33, Fred Kuhn Corgo. I'm sorry about the name situation. I, be I believe that is Kuhn Corgio. Kuhn Corgio, good guy. Fred's got the ball. He gets back up to Leo. Chelsea defense looks to be playing real tough tonight. It's a solid 2-3 zone, Brian, a solid 2-3 zone. And that's a three-pointer by Leo Martinez. Bring the score to 7 of 4 low. Ryan Minoski on the break. He's going to bring it out, and they're going to set up their offense. They are smothering the ball. It looks like they're playing uh, like a, a box and uh, like somewhat like a uh, double press on the, on the guy with the ball. I believe it's called a 3-2-2 three, two, two, back into a 2-3. It very well could be called that. I know you did play freshman basketball before your uh, career-ending knee injury. Yeah, that, that was unfortunate. That was. At the line, number now is number 23. That's Mo Morris. You missed the first one. Looking to get the second one, though. You know, most people take their time at the line, but Mo's shooting right up 
He goes for another jump ball is called. You usually don't see this many jump balls in a game, do you, Drew? Uh, not usually, but you know, back to the free throw there. You know, everybody's got their own quirks at the line. You know, you get 10 seconds to shoot. Mo feels he only needs two or three. Hey, well, look, Mo's out there, and we're not, right? This is true, Brian. Well, right now, number 11, Chelsea has now put their press on to try to slow down the low offense. The score right now is seven to six, Lowell. As Lowell tries to drive the lane on James Barry, he's gonna have none of it. Lowell's trying to like fight with the ball with each other there. Oh, a nice defensive play by Matt Adamson. And that, that'll be a kick ball by Chelsea. It'll stay Lowell ball. Number 44 is checking in, that's Omar Perez. He'll be checking in for number three, Al Wilson. As Lowell will be passing the ball in. There's 12.25 left in this first half. Lowell gets the ball right in. They, they look. A three ball is put up and missed. It was an open look, Brian. Josh Turner with the ball now as he's running the court. He looks to try to get, he goes, oh, he attempts to go all the way, nothing doing. Just couldn't get the roll there, Brian. You know, it's the new rims, I'm telling you. The new rims. And number 11 shoots a lot of balls. That's, that again is Leo Martinez. He doesn't seem to put a lot of them in though. Oh, he was a little off on that one, you know. Jump shots, you get to practice that. Oh, a nice save by Ryan Vodosky on an errant pass by Pat McGuire. Oh, another errant pass. Yeah, there's a travel called. A travel, and that's fortunate for Chelmsford because I'm almost positive that would have been points for them. Yeah, right now, checking into the game is uh, number 21. Number 21 is not listed on our uh, roster here, so I'm not sure exactly what his name is. I'm sorry about that could have been pulled up from the JV squad who played prior to uh, the Varsity Challenge tonight. Yes, that very well could be true. Anthony Santos is now in the game, calling plays. He gets it down to James Barry, who immediately swings it to Dave Byrne. He's a captain senior on this squad, who lays it in for two. Johnson now takes the lead. It's now eight to seven with 11.34 left in the first half. Dave Byrne's also been a force on the court, and especially on the inside game this year. The thing yeah. about Dave Byrne is that he just hustles, hustle, hustle, hustle. Oh, he's the definition of aggressiveness, Brian. And there he See? goes, he got the ball, and he's running. He's taking it, trying to take it all the way, and he does. And another thing about him, Brian, is he's a lefty. A lot of players in basketball, you know, that's their weak hand. When you're playing defense, you want to force the other guy to go to his left, because that's usually his weak side. Not the case with Dave Byrne. He's a lefty, he gets forced to that side, it's points. That is it, that is excellent coverage, Drew. Lowell with a shot there. A little off the mark from uh, Martinez again. Anthony Santos right over to James Barry. A shot by number 11, James Barry. Off the mark. Rebounded by Lowell, and they're on a fast break. Leo Martinez passes the ball to number 44. It was Omar Perez. And again, Leo Martinez. Many shots, not many points. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, Brian, and I'm gonna say Lowell's offense revolves around Leo Martinez. So what you're telling me is if he's not going good, the team's not going good. Exactly, Brian. Lowell looks to slow it down. Number 23, Mo Morris with the ball. Gives it up to Fred Kozik. A foul by Anthony Santos. Lowell's subbing in a lot of players right now. Number 34 is coming in, that's Ken. You're gonna help me with that name, Drew. I believe that'd be Piajon. Piajon. Ken Piajon is now in the game. Oh, another sub for Lowell. They're bringing back in. Oh, they attempted to bring back. Oh, they did bring in Al Wilson, who passes it into uh, Leo Martinez. And the Chumpson substitution, Brian Dugan for uh, Ryan Banowski. Brian Dugan, I, I believe he's a sophomore on this team, first year. He is a sophomore, you know. Coach Mickle's been working with him in the offseason, trying to get him trying to get him to be the best basketball player he can be come senior year, Brian. I think he's been playing pretty well this season. The entire Chelsea team's been playing pretty well. They've lost a lot of close games, a lot of heartbreakers, but they have the effort. They have 100% they all the time. You know, Sunday night, they lost a close one to Framingham. They lost by one, you know, a kid hit a shot with about three seconds left, you know. But those are the bumps you take. Well, that's the type of season it's been for Chelsea. It's gonna be low ball. It's gonna be passed in by number three, Al Wilson. Chumps it as a zone on. Looks to be a half court trap. Yeah, it's a, that's exactly what it is. Oh. Lowell being patient, success, successfully. Number 21 with press. a shot. 
it's, it's no good. Anthony Santos kind of slows it up a little bit, gets, lets the offense set up. Pass down to Dugan, who kicks it right down to James Barry. James drives the hole. Oh, I guess can't seem to put the layup home. Got to finish those, Brian. Yeah, layups are key. Lowe's missed many opportunities of their own. Lowe looking for something on offense. Leo Perez with the ball. Down to number 34, who is Ken Pijon. It's a nice pass by Ken Pijon there, but uh, Lowe just couldn't finish. Finishing is the name of the game. Maybe he can do it here. And he can, number 21. That's our no-name player. The score is now 10 to nine, Chelsea with 8.50 left in the first half. Anthony Santos brings the ball up the court. He's looking for someone, a little crossover dribble. Over to Dugan. Go all right down Burn the Burn wide open. Couldn't handle the pass. Oh, but he put it home. Put it home anyway. That's the type of hustle I'm talking about with Dave Byrne. Successful offensive play there for Chelmsford. That brings the score to 12 to nine, Chelmsford, as they take the early lead here. Over to Leo Perez. Oh, they work it nicely inside. Oh. oh, I'm not too sure about that call, Brian. He didn't have control of the ball. I don't know if it was because the Chompson player hit him, but uh, you know. I believe the biggest problem with that was the, the ref just really couldn't see it. It did look, uh, appear like a foul, but I'm not so sure it was. But you you got to take your lumps. Well, the foul's been called. You can't overturn it into now. a wide open, number 44. Right back to our no-name player who misses a jump shot. Josh Turner with the rebound, and they go on a fast break. Anthony Santos to Pat McGuire over to Dave Byrne, who was immediately triple covered. Brian Dugan's wide open. They find him. Pat, nice pass. That's a nice assist by Dugan. That's a real nice pass to Pat McGuire to bring the score to 14 to 9, Chelmsford. Chelmsford's playing the team game well, Brian. And they're working together, and that's a major part of basketball, moving the ball. And a foul is called on Dave Byrne. And uh, that, that was kind of silly by Dave Byrne there. I can see what he's trying to do, drawing the offensive foul, but you know, you got to set your feet. Well, I think he did the best job he could with the time he had. Lowell subbing in a whole host of players. Number 23, Mo Morris. Number 22, Ryan Hackettstead. And one other player who I've lost track of here. The ball passed it to number three. Who immediately gets it over to number 34, Ken Pijon. Who looks inside, right back to Pijon. Number 33 drives the lane. Lowell's passing the ball beautifully. They just can't seem to put their shots in. Well, they've been changing the personnel all game. You know, Leo Perez is out now. I think they're going to try to get their marquee player a break. Yeah, everyone's got to rest. No one can play the full game. It's a fast-paced game, Brian. And, you know, there haven't been any timeouts or really stopped play so far. So he's oh. got to be sucking wind. Shelton's going to sub in Ryan Vanoski. Ryan is also a senior captain. He's coming in for Anthony Santos, who's a junior. Josh Turner will attempt to pass this ball in. He's looking to a wide open Ryan Vanoski. Goes to Dugan, right? Oh, a nice pass by Dugan. JT just couldn't handle it there. Oh, nope, that's going to happen sometimes. You know, you got to catch first, shoot second. Definitely. Lowell got the ball. Now they work inside. Oh, a nice pass. That's a, that's a nice play for, by Lowell. That was a good look by number 23. That's Mo. That is Mo Morris, folks. The, the bucket was put in by Ryan Huck Huckettston. The score is now 14-11, Chelmsford Lions with 7.05 left in the game. Oh, in the first half, excuse me. Byrne works it inside to Dugan, who was fouled. Now, yep. I'm not so sure you should have your guards under there trying to bang for uh, layups. Wouldn't you say that you'd rather have uh, a, a player like number 10, Josh Turner, under there, or Pat McGuire? Well, the offense they're running, Brian, that's flex. And when it involves a lot of pick setting for uh, all different players on the court. Usually, if the players run right, you get a wide open bucket, wide open look at it right next to the hoop. And uh, what you know, a what a play by Josh Turner there! Did you see yeah, that save? I, I thought that was just going to be another Aaron pass. Wide open three for Ryan Vanoski. and it falls. That was a that was a strange basket. Shooter's touch. That was a, I I heard that he uh, he planned it that way. He practices those type of shots. Yeah, he calls that all the time in horse. <laughs> Number eleven with the ball. He's back in the game, and he finally hits a shot. Yeah. That again is number 11, Leo Martinez, who hit the shot to bring the score to 17 to 14 in the Lions' favor still, though. Josh Turner drives. Over, over two guys. Nice job. I told you, Brian, he's going to force. Yeah, he's playing well. The whole Chumpson team right now is playing excellent with 6.15 left in the first half. The Chumpson squad really doesn't have an outstanding player, so Josh, Josh Turner's taking it upon himself to step up and try to do a lot of scoring. Yeah, I hear that. There's a travel called on Lowell, so Chelsea can get the ball right back. 
Subbing in for Chelmsford is James Barry and also Matt Adamson. Leaving the game will be Dave Byrne and Brian Dugan, who played excellent while his time was in there as a sophomore. He's seen a lot of minutes, you know. He's going to be a hell of a player. He definitely is. Matt Adamson gets over to their uh, key guard, Ryan Vanoski, who fires it up to James Barry, but it's broken, broken up by number 21. The score right now is Chelmsford 19, Lowell 14, with six minutes left in the first half. James Barry is smothered by two Lowell defenders and is apparently stolen, but I believe it was out of bounds. Do you know whose ball it is, Drew? Uh, I believe the referees are signaling Lyon's ball. Also, it was knocked out of James's hand out of bounds. He got bailed out as he was trapped in the corner, Brian. I see Ryan Vanocki wide open. They, they do get the ball to him, just like I would have. And Matt Adamson is driving the hoop. Oh. And he is blocked. And number 21 says, no, Matt, no. No, no. Chelsea ball is Josh Turner will attempt the, the throw in. He tucks in his shirt there. He's got the ball. He's calling three, I believe. I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, it's probably just one of many inbounds plays. Inbounds plays are nice. The ball's getting kicked over to Matt Adams, who swings it right down to Vanofsky, who swings it right to JT. That's a nice play. James Barry attempts a three. Oh, he was feeling it on that one. I thought it was going in, Brian. I thought it was going to go in, too. But Lowell comes up to start their offense. Lowell seems to work with it. They try to move the ball real quickly and get some open shots. I heard a slap there. I heard that, too, Brian, all the way down on the court. We're all the way up here in the stands. That was a loud slap. That was. Now, I believe he's going to shoot two. That, again, is number 21 from Lowell. Oh, oh no shots. It was on the floor. The referee's going to say he was on the floor. They try, they're trying to work it into the big guy. Nice play by Pat McGuire to knock the ball away. Oh, what a fast break. And Matt Adamson puts it home nicely. That's two for Matt. It was a good look by Ryan Minoski. 21-14, Schouser with 5-17 five, five, to go in the first half. Lowell again moving the ball quickly. The big man pulled up from a jumper. Off the mark, and there's a foul called. Looks to be over the back on number 33. That's Fred Kunzako. Well, JT had position. He boxed him out well, and you know, he had nothing else to do except go over his back, Brian. James Barry with the ball. He's looking way on the other side of the court to Ryan Vanoski, who goes to Matt Adamson. Right back to James. James looks inside. Oh, what a play. Chelsea's is moving the ball beautifully. They've come out to play tonight. They're working the ball beautifully, finding the open man, and it looks like Lowell's going to take a timeout. They need a timeout. The score is 23-14, to 14. Chelsea with 4.50 left in the first half. And we will come back in a few minutes after this break. And we're back here at the Chelsea Gymnasium. Chelsea the lead is 23-14 to 14 with 4.50 left in the first half. Drew, what do you think of the performance so far? You know, Chelsea's been working the ball around well. They've been very unselfish on the offensive end. Solid defense, and... Uh, Lowell's going to come out and try to get something going. Yeah, well, Lowell looks capable. They look like they have some athletes. That right now, the Chumps are just outworking them. Very consistent. Very consistent all-around play by the Chumps squad. And uh, we'll see how they finish out the half here. Chumps breaks the huddle to come out, and uh, we'll see what type of defense they're coming out in. Looks to be their normal 2-3 zone. Leo Perez looks like he's going to call play. Ball's passed over to number 34, Ken Piajon. Ball still in Piajon's hands. Right back to Leo per Martinez, who, who puts a three in. He was missing earlier, but he seems to be on fire now. No, Brian, a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then, Brian. This is true. 23-17, Chelsea, as Matt Adamson drives the lane, but is stripped he as just... Lowell's going on a fast break. Oh, a foul was called there, but it looked like Ryan had all ball. I thought he had his hand on the ball. Maybe he bumped him with his body, but either way, the foul was called. Yes, it was, Drew. He will go to the line there this time, for sure. Andy, what do you think of the play so far by the Chumps of Lions? They've been playing good, but they have to come back. Well, they have to keep their defense up nice and good. This is true. This is very true, Ryan. The defense has to keep playing. Nice and good. Nice and good. Number 21, who I have now figured out, I believe, is Danny Rogers and or Fred Cucorso because there's two 33s on my lineup card. Or maybe, personally, I have to tell you this right now. The lineup card is handwritten and is difficult to read. So I, I, I apologize for all name mistakes and 
player mistakes that happened in this game. Uh, it was written by the low coach in haste before the game. I'm sure he did the best he can, but, you know, we're going to do the best we can. We can. And now that's two from Anthony Santos. Brings the score to 25-19 to with 4.09 left in the first half. Chumps, the, chumps it again, breaking the press without a problem and just finding the open man. There's a foul called. I believe on Chumps, right? Looks to be a block. And the big guy, who we're going to call Danny Rogers, is at the line. That'll be Chumps' eighth team foul for the half with 4.06 remaining. And after five, you go into bonus for all you non-basketball fans at home. Bonuses after five, six, actually. Drew says. And when you get into bonus, when you're fouled, you automatically get free throws. The basket is made by Danny Rogers. The ball is passing to Dave Byrne. He looks to rush it up the court. The ball is stripped, and then it went back to Dave, and now it's at Lulzan. That was a strange play. You know, he tried to force it in there. It just wasn't there, but that's all right. Danny Rogers tries to land and is fouled again. He's getting a lot of foul shots. It doesn't look as though Lowell's really running an offense. They're just kind of, you know, trying to work the ball in. You know, if they have an open lane, they drive. A timeout by Chelmsford is called now. The, the score is 25 to 21, Chelmsford with 3.51 left, and we have to go to a break. We are back at the Conrad Gym here in Chelmsford with Chelmsford leading 25 to 21 with 3.51 left in the game. Chelmsford played, has been playing very, very stellar thus far, Drew, wouldn't you say? Like I said before, Ryan, very unselfish play on the offensive end, solid on the defensive end. They keep playing the way they're going to be playing. I see a win in the future. Well, as of late, Lola's been coming back off the free throws from Danny Rogers, who's been getting fouled a lot as he tries to drive the hoop. He has been. He, he's, he's taken it to the house. He has no fears of the chumps of defenders. But you know, Brian, it really means nothing. You can't hit the free throws. And he, he hits the first one there, but he just hasn't been shooting them all that well. Now he's a big guy, and big guys haven't been known to shoot free throws. He misses that one. The score's now 25-22, to 22, Chelmsford. The ball goes on to Dave Byrne. He drives it right in on the big guy. Nice pass to Matt Adamson. Right over Anthony Santos, who shoots a three. It's off the mark. Low ball off of off and out of bounds where the Matt Adams and the low play, were, they were fighting for it. All effort was put forth. You know, that's a good play, though. It stops the fast break. Yes, it is. Excellent call by my broadcast partner, Andy. The ball's brought down to number 23, who drives the hoop. <laughs> he bricked that one. He bricks again. And a rebound by Chelmsford. An excellent play by Brian Dugan, who's back in the game. Oh! Matt Adamson gets blocked hot off the backboard. I don't think he saw him coming, Brian. And a big steal back by Chelmsford. They get no points off that stellar block by Danny Rogers. Santos with an awesome crossover, and he finishes oh. right there. Oh, what is that move called when they run under the hoop and score it, Drew? Uh, I believe that's an up and under, Brian. An up and under. I enjoyed that a lot. Almost another steal by Chumps. The Chumps is going on a, on eight cylinders, full, full. A three ball is off the mark. A rebound by JT, Just, and a foul is called. Now again, you know, JT had position. Low, the low players didn't. He just boxed him out. He got the rebound. The score is 27 to 22 with 2:46 left in the first half. As Matt Adamson attempts to inbound the ball, he does with ease. Brian Dugan with the ball who tries to save it off the low player and does right back to him. Oh, they just couldn't get a hold of it there. Yeah, each, each player on the court right there just had butterfingers, just couldn't get a hold of the ball. That's going to be a chumpster turnover, but, you know, they're playing stellar so far. They are playing stellar, and subbing in now is number 33. That is Ken Piagent. The ball is in now number three's Al Wilson's hands. Gets it down back to Al, who swings it down to Leo Martinez. Lowe's seems to be working the perimeter. They haven't really been able to bust inside the Chelmsford box defense. No, they've had solid, solid defense right now. It looks like they're playing a box and one, maybe an extended 2-3 zone. Oh, and a, a travel called on Danny Rogers. No, you only get two steps, Brian. That's right, you only get two. Again, we're not exactly sure number 21's name. We believe it might be Danny Rogers. Again, our roster is handwritten and hard to read. 
out of bounds, but it looked like he was pushed out of bounds. Is that legal, Drew? That is, I felt as though he was pushed on the play. The referee felt otherwise. But um, is that a legal play? Can you push the player out of bounds in basketball? Definitely not, Brian. You know, this is not football. I understand that, Drew. The ball's dribbled by Leo. Oh, a nice behind-the-back dribble move right over to number 33 who drives the lane. Nothing, nothing there. And Chelsea attempts to go on a fast break. They're running. JT looks for a pass, gets tipped into the air. Now in the hands of Brian Dugan, who feeds it underneath. Right back to JT for two. You know, I don't know what's going on. It just seems like a Chelmsford player is always open, Brian. That is exactly the way it seems. 29-22 Chelmsford with a minute 33 left in the first half. Oh, nice fake pass over to Al Wilson. Al front rims that ball. Couldn't finish the J, and Chelmsford's breaking again. Matt, Matt Adamson with the ball right now. Nice pass down to Josh Turner, who's smothered by defenders, but to, takes the pass to a wide open. Anthony Santos, who was stuffed there. Good effort, though. You got to drive the lane. You know, you got to hope for the foul. He just got the block shot right there. It's going to happen. Leo Martinez with the ball. Over to the big guy, number 21. Leo shoots. Oh, in and out there. I just, I could have swore that number 33 just threw a forearm into the chest of Pat McGuire, but the ref didn't see it. The ref had seen it. Probably would have been an offensive foul, Brian. Checking into the game now is number 22, Frankie Meathy for Chelmsford. Frankie's a junior, he's a real good kid. He plays lacrosse and football as well. And he, he's good defensive play. I think that's why Coach Mickle's putting him in to finish out the half, make sure Lowell gets no cheap points. And Frankie Meathy is all hustle, 100% hustle. Frankie hustles for the ball there. And it's staying here to the demise of Coach Mickle. He felt that it should have been Chelsea ball. And oh, and the other referee corrects our head official here, and it'll be Chelsea for the ball. Coach Mickle was right. Number 33, Jamie Soha is checking into the game. Jamie Soha is a senior first-year player here. He's been doing a nice job. The ball is stolen from Frankie Meathy. Put in by Wilson. Yeah, Wilson put it right there. Al Wilson there with two. Frankie Meathy the ball again you over know, to Matt Adamson. You know, I'm wondering if Al Wilson's any relation to Marcus Wilson, Lowell's high high caliber player who graduated last year. I do remember Marcus, he was a very good player. He graduated, I'm sure he's playing in college somewhere now. Frankie Meathy with the ball again. Six seconds to go in the half. Pat McGuire to, to Matt Adamson. And the buzzer. Oh, who missed that shot just by a little bit. But well, at the half, it's 29-24 Chelmsford. A great first half for the Chelmsford Lions as the teams go into the locker room for halftime. And we will bring you back for second half action in a few minutes. And we're back with Chelsea High School basketball. Chelsea's up 29-24 as we start the second half. A jump shot by JT's off. Josh Turner just a little long with that one. Uh, Chumpson came out first half. They were fired up, passing the ball well, very consistent on offense. Let's see what they can do here. Hopefully they can continue that in the second half. Matt Adamson with the ball. It was a steal by Josh Turner. James Barry's with the ball now. He, get, he swings it down. A, oh, Pat McGuire. Uh, looks like a, he maybe have been trying for a pass. I don't know what happened uh, there. A little indecision there, Brian. Number 11 with the ball. That's going to be Leo Martinez. He's their main player. Their marquee they, player, you might say. Marquee would be the word. As he's driving the lane, he gives it off to Al Wilson, who puts it in for two. Al Wilson's also pretty good. Nice play by Louis Martinez there. And it's to be a timeout. Is that by Chelmsford? That is by Chelmsford. Coach Mickle doesn't seem to be happy with what, what Chelmsford's been doing on offense here. You can't say that they came out firing. Well, they came out firing just in the wrong sense, Brian. This is true. Right now, Coach Mickle is a attending to his team, trying to get some uh, a new game plan out there as uh, Chelsea High School cheerleaders do their thing. The old players come right up back out on the floor. They're not too interested in the cheerleading. You know, cheerleaders are, you know, they don't get a lot of respect, Brian. You know, and they're, they're pretty good too. I, I couldn't do those type of flips and things. They do some nice things. 
you, for those of you at home, you didn't get to see the halftime routine. They do it at each and every game. It involves synchronized dancing, the nice little chair at the end. Some lifts. They lift each other. They throw each other in the air. It's quite impressive. Some lifts. Some uh, some lifts. Kicks. Misty flips. All, all types of fun stuff. Whatever you want, they got. The ball will now be passed in by number five, Ryan Vanoski. Gets the ball to Matt Adamson. And that is, uh, all right, now we're back. Oh. Down to James Barry, who attempts to dish to Pat McGuire, but it's it's broken up, and the ball's now in Leo Martinez's hands. Lowell's come out, it looks like a 1-3-1 one, one defense, and Chumps is having some problems with it. Oh, the big guy, number 21, puts a shot in there. The score's now 29-28. Looks like Lowell has uh, got the momentum swinging their way right now. Ryan Vanoski, oh, a nice pass down to Dave Byrne, who was fouled. He, he got hit hard on that one, Brian. He did get hit hard. He'll be shooting, too. Good look by Ryan Vanoski. Now, Drew, when you were playing, uh, do you have any special little quirks or anything you did at the line when you were going to shoot a free throw? Usually, I'd spin the ball at the ground. I'd wipe my hands on my shorts. I'd dribble three times, spin it once more, and then shoot again. That's quite the routine. And he, Dave Byrne misses the first one. Hopefully he can get this second one and get Chumps and rolling again point-wise in the second half. And uh, the Chumps and cheerleader is on the floor. I don't know what she's thinking there. Uh, should the ball go that way, could be some problems. Dave misses both, but a nice rebound by James Barr. Hopefully they can get some points in on this possession. The ball's put into Pat McGuire. Nice pass to Dave Byrne, who takes it to the hole and is stuffed. Lowell is, we're going to see a different Lowell team here in the second half, Drew. Well, Lowell had a lot of block shots in the first half. You know, if you're going to drive the lane on Lowell, it seems, you've got to bring it. You do. You have to take it strong to the hole. The score is 29-28, Chelmsford. The ball swung over to James Barry, who is a kickball on Lowell. I believe it'll be staying here, and it will be. James Barry is going to attempt to make this pass in. The ball's in James's hands. He gets it right into Pat McGuire without a problem. Ryan Vanoski swings it down to James Jumps Barry. Jumps it again, swinging the ball well. And oh, there's a three. There's a three ball by James Barry. That's, that, that's worth three points. That is three points, Brian. That brings the score to 32 to 28, Chelmsford. I think they needed that to get him going here in the second half. Oh, and the big number 21, Rogers in his face. Barry felt, felt it wasn't a thing. Not a big deal, right over him. The big nine, number 21. Over to number three, Al Wilson. And Al puts one of them. Al's come to play in the second half. You know, it looks like both teams are going to try to get something going early here, try to get a run going. So that that's what basketball is all about, quick little runs. Yeah, you do have to be in shape to play basketball. Pat McGuire with a jump shot, just misses. Leo Martinez hits the ball, but is immediately fouled by Pat McGuire. That's the first team foul for Chelmsford. Al Wilson will be attempting this throw-in. And he gets it right into Leo Martinez. Looks like Chumps is going to play the 1-3-1 defense and Ivanovsky at the top chasing the ball around. Chasing the ball must be get very tiring. Uh, you run a lot of sprints at basketball practice. you got to be in shape to play the game. That is very true. And below, I think that's Al Wilson again who's fouled driving the lane through. That will be Chumps with second team foul of the half. Yes, it will be. The score is 32-30. Chumps is still in the lead, fighting for it, though. You know, it's still early here in the first half, you know. The outcome is yet to be decided. Definitely. Al puts it up. al he's got about six points here in the second half. You know, he's come to play. I'm sure the Lowell coach had some things to say in the locker room. Looks like Lowell's responding. The shot's put up, and it's hit. The game is now tied, 32-32. to 32. Hopefully Chelsea can get a basket here and regain the lead. Matt Adamson with the ball. Swings down to Dave Byrne. Right over to James Barrett. He shoots a jump shot. He puts it right in. There's a wide open Jay. Again, Chumps is just moving the ball real well. They're finding the open man, and James Barry capitalizes on the open shot. He did capitalize. 34 to 32. Chelmsford's lead. Al Wilson with the ball. He's looking for an open, open man. And Al Wilson with the ball again. Now Al drives, the, drives to the hoop. Shot is put in by number 33, and now Chelsea finds themselves down two points through. You know, Lowell's found a rhythm, and they're, they're using it. Chumps is going to get a D-stop or a nice play on offense to try to slow up that rhythm. A foul is called. I believe that's going to go against number three, Al Wilson. Al Wilson, what a kid. What a player. 
Ryan Vodosky will now attempt to pass the ball in. The scoreboard actually shows 34 to 34. I, I'm not so sure that's right, but we're gonna go with it. And a big pass to no one by James Barry. You know, James Barry. James Barry thought somebody was gonna be there. It was an errant pass. You know, you gotta think first, throw second. I, I don't know if that was James's fault or someone else's. We'll never know. We don't know the plays. Al Wilson with the ball. He, he's trying to drill past Ryan Vinovsky. He's going to have none of it, but he gets past him. Uh, Ryan Vinovsky showing great hustle there. Hustle is a key thing in basketball. It's going to be low ball. With 12.08 left in the second and final half of this basketball game. Oh, number 33 puts it right in. Scores 36-34. Chumps is down two. Chumps of the offense seems to be sputtering a little bit here in the second half. You know, they're not really having any problems breaking the press, but, you know, they got to put the ball in the bucket. Ball in the James Barry. Oh, nice rebound by Dave Byrne off the James Barry miss. They get right back to James Barry. They don't lose. Oh, what a pass by James Barry. Nice look by James Barry, finding Dave Byrne for the wide open layup. 36-36 here at the Conrad Gym in Chelmsford. Chelmsford's been doing that all game. They have been. Al Wilson with the ball. It seems like Al Wilson and Leo Martinez are the, are the players for Lowell. They, they're going to win. You're going to win and lose with Leo and Al. Number 33 with the ball. Back down to Leo, who's going to put up the three. He's off the mark with a rebound by number 23. Keeps the ball alive. And that's a steal off the tip by Ryan Vinovsky. Oh, they're going to fat. Oh, there's Matt Adamson. A little which, too much lead on Vinovsky's pass there, Drew. Yeah, a little too much mustard on it, Brian. You know, it was a good thought. Just a little ahead of him. Subbing in the game for Chelsea now is Josh Turner and Anthony Santos. They'll be subbing in for Matt Adamson and Dave Byrne, who played very well while they were in here. 36 all with 11.05 left in the second half. Ball gets kicked over to number 34, Ken Biergeon. You know, it looks as though Lowell's running more of an offense now, more, than, more so than they did in the first half, Brian. Well, maybe that's why they're scoring some points now, Drew. It's a little more structured. Martinez on the drive, missed the layup. And, and one. And one. In, ba in basketball, we call that and one. And the basket is good to bring the score to 38-36. And number 33 is at the line, shooting one. A lot of free throws tonight in this game, Drew. Well, they've, they've really been hacking at each other that bad, but yeah, there have been quite a, bit, quite a few free throws. It's just the result of playing hard. You finish the game with a couple fouls, you know you've played aggressive defense. Another and one. Jump. Chelmsford comes right back down, and they get the and one, and the Pat McGuire finishes it. I really enjoy saying and one. I hope this happens some more. 39-38 Chelmsford. Pat's trying to get the lead to two. He's got one shot to, to prove himself to do it. Let's see if he can answer and tie up the game with the free throw. Hopefully he can. If you have not realized, I am rooting for Chelmsford. We are not impartial. <laughs> we are not. We are not professional at this. We can pick a side, and I am picking Chelmsford. Lowell's with the ball. Oh, number 33 attempts a silly behind the back dribbling move, which did not work out for him. The ball was stolen, and James Barry now has is in possession of the ball. Well, there's a place in time for the fancy stuff, Ryan, and that wasn't one of that wasn't one of those times. No, it's not. Ryan Vanoski the ball right down to James Barry. Gets down to Anthony Santos, looking for someone open. Nice pass. I'm not so sure about the cross pass, cross court pass, but it worked. In a nice drive by Ryan Vanoski. How was that able to get into the basket through? Excellent body control by Ryan Minoski. Got by the defender, adjusted in the air, put the ball in. Nice play. It looked like Chelsea was uh, going to fall behind here early, but they've, they've come right back here. They are playing hard. They want this game. They want their fourth or third victory. Is it third or three or four, Drew? I believe if they win tonight, this will be their third victory on the season. All right, well, that score is now 41-40 with that basket by Lowell. They're running. Chelsea just called X. I don't know exactly what that is, but they called it. I believe it was down. I saw an X by Coach Mickle, but I believe you, Drew. The ball's try worked down in low to Pat McGuire to shoot a three. Pat's a little off the mark there as Lowell goes, takes the ball and attempts to go on a fast break, but it's shut down by James Barry. I don't know, that was probably not the shot Chelmsford was looking for, but you know, it's gone now. The big guy play try defense. tries to get a three. It doesn't fall either. Maybe these big guys should get under the hoop. That's why they're in the game, Brian, to rebound. Bang the boys, Brian, bang them. They seem to feel like threes of their game. Pat McGuire with the ball. Nice one down to Josh Turner, JT. He puts up a good shot. It was a high percentage shot. It just didn't fall there. Oh, right over number 21, who's a pretty tall player. 
Number 11, Leo Martinez with the ball. Gets it up to number 21. Right back to Leo. Kicks it down to number 34. Ken Piergeon. Oh, Ken gets fouled. Almost an and one. Hey, it was a it nice was pass by Leo Martinez there. It was not an and one. This He's going to be shooting two shots here. Trying to put Lowell back into the lead. As Chumps was leading this game 41-40. to 40. With 8.44 to go in the second half. Second half action, always the most exciting because after the second half, there is no more game. <laughs> there is no, no, there isn't another halftime, you could say. You only get one of those, you only get two halves, you got to make the best of them. You know, you get timeouts, but there's no break like the halftime. You don't get to hit up your locker room, you don't get to sit and chill and think about the second half. The cheerleaders don't do another routine. No, they don't. Well, Lowell missed both free throws there. The score's still 41-40, Chelsea. That's a good break for Chelsea. You know, free throws are key, Brian. You've got to make those if you're going to win Ryan games. Ryan Vanoski. That's a three ball from Ryan. That's a huge basket by Ryan Vanoski right there. Puts chumps it up four here in the second half. Yes, it does with 8.21 left in the second half. Lowell trying to move the ball more quickly now as Leo with the ball. Leo Martinez back over to number 33. Back to Leo. Ryan Vanoski anticipating the steal. Couldn't get it. Leo puts the shot up. Josh Turner doesn't think it's a foul. The ref does, and that's the only person that matters. That is the only person that matters, Brian. And that'll be Chelmsford's fifth foul of the half. 44-40 Chelmsford. 8.09 left in the second half. Al Wilson's going over to his coach to talk things over as Leo puts a shot up. Leo's cash. cash Swish. Noise. Gotta love that noise, Drew. Gotta love the shh noise as the ball goes into the, into the hoop without ever touching the rim. Nothing but nylon. Leo again. Oh, Leo bricked that one. That's more of a clang noise. That was a clang noise. 44 to 41. Chaus to Vinovsky with the ball. Over to JT. Right back to Vinovsky, who's now driving the lane. Nice pass to James Barry. Who's unable to put the shot up, but Pat McGuire working hard on the boards. The ref sees it out, and it's going to stay here. Uh, I don't I don't exactly understand how it can stay here when James Barry was touching the ball. but You know, I'm a Chumster fan, but I'm going to go ahead and say that was probably going to be Lowell's ball. Everyone makes mistakes, Drew. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, everyone does. Fortunately for Chumster, it goes in our favor. Oh, Ryan Vanoski. Oh. Trying to rattle home the three. Just, just missed. He had one like that earlier that rattled around for a while. Not so much there. Number 33 with the ball. He kicks it over to Al Wilson, who's going to shoot a three. No three for Al Wilson. And it's a travel call. The Lowell fans are up in arms. They don't feel it's a travel. They feel maybe more of a foul right there. It looks as though they're not happy with the officiating here tonight, Brian. Now you can't complain about the refs. That's just a, that's a lousy excuse. Lousy, lousy excuse. James Barry with the ball now. He's, oh, Anthony Santos wide open for a layup. Oh, that's been the story of the game. There's been a Chelmsford player wide open. It's almost like they have six players on the court. 46-41, Chelmsford. Halfway through the second. An excellent hustle play by Pat McGuire. He knocked out of bounds, but that's the type of night Chelmsford having. The hustle's there. They're hitting shots. They're hustling 100%. Running as fast as they can run. You know, for a team that's won two games, they're playing like it's the state championship here, Brian. And that shows the type of character this Chelsea team has. They're never going to give up. They're always going to play. Chelsea's never a gimme on the schedule. Never. They play hard. They play all 40 minutes of the game. You just got to come to play when you play Chelsea. Chelsea ball is the big guy, number 21, trying to drive the lane there. No basket for him. Ryan Vodonsky will now attempt to pass the ball with 6.52 left in the second half. Whoa, with the full court press. And Chelsea breaks it. Un I'm, unsuccessful. I'm extremely impressed by Chelsea this evening. And that's a, that's going to be a travel. I, I tend to agree with the ref there. Yeah, that definitely was a travel. But, uh, you know, you got to look beyond it and slows ball now. Chelsea coach, Coach Mickle, calling plays to his team, trying to get the defense set up. Oh, number 21 with an excellent shot there to put it in to bring... To cut the lead to three for Chelmsford. He hung in the air, Brian. Oh, that was almost Jordan-esque. Lackluster defense by Lowell there. Lowell doesn't seem to really uh, want to play so much. They, I don't understand why no one picked him up there, but... Uh, miscommunication on the defense, and Ryan Minoski drove in the lane, resulted in a team foul. He's going to shoot two. That was Lowell's fourth team foul. Minoski, oh... 
Just missed. The new rims. I can't say it enough. The new rims. They need to be broken in. I think we're going to get somebody in here to dunk on them, Brian. We could enjoy dunks. Dunks are fun. Believe me, if I could, I would. I would also love to dunk. But Oski hits the second one to make it 47-43. to 43. Checking into the game for Chelsea now is Brian Dugan and Dave Byrne. There seems to be confused, some confusion on the court now. Trying hey. to... Chumpster is going to press. Looks like it's going to be a full court trap. Number 23 with the ball as he drives the lane. Oh, and he passes it right to Dave Byrne. It was an errant pass. He wasn't even looking at his teammate, Brian. I don't, you can't tell me you got the jerseys, uh, the jerseys confused. They're opposite colors. Oh, a nice pass right through the hands of Al Wilson to Anthony Santos. Oh, he misses the three. That would have been a nice bucket. Would have got the crowd right back into the game. Mo Morris with the ball gets it over to there. Marquee player, Leo. Chumps are still ahead, 47-43 with just under six minutes to go here in the second half. The big guy, oh, he hits a, that's a nice shot. I haven't seen that at him yet tonight. That's gonna be a two though, Brian. It is a two, but you can't say it wasn't a nice shot. That was a nice shot, swish. He, number 21 now, knocks the ball out of bounds. He wants it, he wants it. Now the thing is though, the rest of the team's gonna want it. He can't do it all himself, Brian. You gotta see if Al Wilson and Leo Martinez can pick it up for Lowell here as they are down 47 to 45 here with 540 left in the half. Pat McGuire drives the lane. Oh! oh. Good take by Pat McGuire there as he drew the foul. That'll be Lowell's fifth team foul of the half. Yes, it will be. Pat will go to the line. Shooting two. 47 45, Chelmsford. Pat gets, gets, starts his little routine there at the line. Looks like he's going to dribble a few times. Right up with the shot. Ugh. Couldn't get it to fall. Pat looks disgusted with himself. Just short there, Brian. Just short. He was real close. 47-45, Chelmsford, as you can see on the lower left-hand side of your screen. Pat's going to attempt another shot. A few dribbles. Concentrating, focusing, balls up. And couldn't get that one to fall either. You can't hit them all, Drew. Can't hit them all. Number 21, again, trying to do it all. Oh, nice pass to Al Wilson, who was fouled. We'll go to the line again. I would like to know the stat, the number of free throws that have been taken in this game. I'm going to go ahead and say quite a few, Brian. Quite a few. <laughs> there has been quite a few, but I was looking for an exact number, Drew. Oh, you know, we don't have exact numbers as our technology hasn't reached that point here at Chumpsted High. Early this evening in the Conrad Gym, the JV team lost a heartbreaker to, to the Lowell JV team, 49 to 48. Chumps had a chance in this one. They just fell a point short. You know, there's some highlights of that game. You know, I'd love to show them to you, the folks at home. But uh, again, we don't have that technology. We are Chumps at High School. We, I feel that the camera people do an excellent job of putting these telecasts and bringing them to you. Brian Oski with the ball. He brings it right out past half court. Those free throws tied the game at 47-47 with uh, 5.21 to go here in the second half. What a game we're seeing tonight, huh? Back and forth action. You know, with the amount of free throws that are being shot, Brian, you know, you got to make them because quite often free throws in a close game. Oh, Dave Burns stripped and he's going on a fast break. Maybe he should have tried to dunk it. Maybe. Would have helped us out breaking in the rims, but, you know, just didn't happen. Nevertheless, he does get the basket, which is just as good as the dunk. You don't get any extra points for dunking, but it's 49 to 47, Chelmsford. 453 left in the second half. I probably would have gave him some style points had he dunked it. Pat McGuire again for three. No. It did not fall. James Barry fighting for the rebound. There's a little melee on the floor. That's hustle right there. And, and a timeout call by Chelmsford. What a play. Nice play by James Barry. Wrestle away that rebound for number 21. 47-49 in favor of Lowell here. I think this is the first. Chelsea hasn't been down much in this game. So be down two is actually a lot in my opinion. You know, it's, it's free throws. They've been the difference with him. And we are going to go to a commercial now. We'll be back in a few minutes. And we are back here at Chelmsford High School in Chelmsford, Massachusetts for the MIA High School game between the Chelmsford High School Lions and the Lowell Raiders. Lowell High Raiders, yep. And as I was saying before the break, Brian, you know, in a close game like this, with the amount of free throws that have been shot, you know, free throws are key. 
quite often in a close game, they are the difference in the game, the yeah. winner and the loser. You got to do it. You got to do it. Got to gotta hit those free throws. The ball is knocked out of bounds by Lowell, so Ryan Vodonsky would uh, attempt to throw the ball in here. He's looking for an looking open, for an and open he gets Brian Dugan, who then gets the ball to James Barry. Nice play. Chumps is going to set up an offense here. Chumps has got the ball. Brian Dugan looking for someone. He doesn't have a lot of, he's fouled. And that's going to be Lowell's 16 foul of the half with 4.28 to go here. Chumps it down two points, 49 to 47. The referees are assessing the penalties, telling the scorers who did what, when, where, why they did it. Check into the game is Josh Turner. Josh will now pass the ball in. They look to do some form of a stack. I used to run that in CYBL. Well, they still run it now, Brian. The stack is ne never gets old. Josh Turner with the ball now, looking to get the get it out of his hands. Oh, nice pass down to Pat McGuire who feeds. Dave Burner was fouled and one. What was that, Brian? And one. Yes, it was, Brian, and one, and that'll tie the game. Dave Byrne has a chance to take the lead for the Chumpson squad here, shooting one free throw. And one. And one. That's 49-49 with 4.17 left in the second half. And it looks like, was there a technical assessed? It looks as though there probably was a technical foul called on the Lowell squad. I'm not sure on who, but uh, that's just more free throws for Dave Byrne. Yeah, that's uh, not a smart thing to be doing if you're Lowell right now. The shots were put home. It's 50 to 49 in favor of Chelmsford. That's free throws and you get the ball. Yeah, that can be big in a game that's this close. The Lowell fans don't like it. They are yelling at the referees, which is useless. Yeah. This isn't like in the NFL when you throw the red flag and you get to overturn the call. There is no instant replay in basketball. No instant replay whatsoever. Dave Byrne with the ball now. He's looking for somebody. He finds James Barry, oh, who is swatted away by number 21, and then a foul was called on James Barry. He slaps the floor with in frustration. That was a loud slap. That was a loud slap, as we heard it all the way up here in the top of the stands here at the Conrad Gym in Chelmsford. Chelmsford, Massachusetts. Number 21 will be going to the line there. That is Chelmsford's seventh team foul. They are now in bonus. Both teams actually are in bonus. They both have 17 fouls. I believe that's number 21's fourth block shot of the night. Uh, he's, he's, he's a fool when it comes to blocking shots. Just don't think you're going up and over him because he's got something for you. He's tall. He is. He's a big boy. James Barry with the balls. It looks like Lowell's tightening up their defense a little bit, kind of playing a man in a way. They always got a guy on the ball, and it's taken away. And it's a turnover. It's Pat McGuire, and it was an errant pass. Oh, a big swap what by a, James Barry. What a play by James Barry. That's called hustle. Hustle wins games like this. The fans react. That's how you get fans. You got to get the fans into it. It's all part of the game, Brian. 50 to 49 shots with Lowell's ball. Leo with the ball. Leo Martinez. And another swap by Chelsea. And the Lowell fans are on their feet screaming for a foul. It's not going to happen. Not here, Brian. No way. And again... I am a Chelmsford fan, but I did hear a slap on that one. And a basket by Chelmsford as the Chelmsford players are on their feet. Coach Mickel jumping up and down, trying to call the defense. Calling for the, uh, I believe it's the full court trap. Lowell successfully breaks Al it. Al Wilson with the ball. He takes it to the hole. And a rebound by Lowell. They can't seem to put it back in a rebound by Josh Turner. And Chelmsford's going to slow it down here as they are ahead. They're at 52 to 49, Drew, with a little under three minutes left in the second half. Both teams have seven fouls. Oh, that's a foul by number 34. Excuse me, Lowell now has eight. 18 fouls for Lowell as Rivanovsky will go to the line for one and one. Here we go. Lowell's screaming for Archie. Was that Lowell or Chumpson screaming for a timeout, Drew? Uh, I don't think it really matters. You know, Chumpson's come out here with a surge late here in the second half, and they're ahead. 52 to 49 as a result. And now we're going to take you to a commercial break. I hope you enjoy this. We'll see you in a few minutes. And we are back in Chelmsford, Massachusetts for this excellent high school basketball game. Chelmsford is ahead 52 to 49 with Ryan Vodonsky, who's about to shoot one and one when Chelmsford breaks their huddle. With uh, just under three minutes left, you know, we, we have a barn burner here, folks. I wouldn't go away. 
I feel as though the Chelmsford staff has put together an excellent game plan for Lowell, to play Lowell, I mean. Well, you know, I'm sad to say that with the loss on Sunday, Chelmsford, I believe, can no longer qualify for the state tournament. So right now they're just playing for pride. And it seems like everybody's down with that. They're into it. Pride is more fun. You can, you can attempt to ruin other people's season. Exactly. And that's always even better. Al Wilson with the ball over to Leo. Leo is trying to do it himself. He gets it down to number 34. Leo has the ball again. Leo could be overrated. Al Wilson with the ball. He misses. Lowell needs to work on, on a foul is called. Again, the Lowell fans happy with that, but they were yelling for one earlier. Well, they've been begging for a foul for the last few minutes, Brian. They finally got their wish. That is Chelmsford's eighth team foul. Is big number 21 going to the line. Right here, 20, number 21 needs to hit at least one of these to make it a two-point game. And he misses it. Again, as you said earlier, Drew, these are key. Uh, like I said, free throws can be the difference in a close game like this. And hits the second one, bring the score to 52 to 50. Lowell's down two with 226 left in the second half. What a game. What a press break by Chelmsford. Ryan and Oski, some impressive dribbling moves. Pat McGuire can't finish and he's fouled. That's gonna be Lowell's ninth team foul as Pat McGuire will go to the line for one and one. One and one is also somewhat fun to say. Not as fun as... And one. And one. Pat looks to put the, put Chelsea up by three points here with his free throw attempt. It's good. Successful. Which means he'll get another one because that's one and one. Chelsea up 53 to 50 with 2.17 left in the second half. Looking for their third win of the season. He puts it up. And, and it's it, good. It's good. Two straight by Pat McGuire. Al Wilson with the ball. Chumpson going right into the press here. Oh, and a beautiful save by Dave Byrne. Ryan Minoski laying out. What hustle by the Chumpson squad tonight. Leo just dribbles into nobody. Into a big, huge mess of Chumpson players. But I mean a mess, I mean a mess. Low again. A nice feed inside of number 33. Who's able to put the shot home. 54 to 52. A little under two minutes left in the second half. Like I said, folks, don't go away. It's just starting to get interesting. I don't exactly understand what, what was just called. Oh, I believe the ref stopped the game for wetness on the surface. Player safety is an issue here in Chelmsford. Yeah, we don't want any anybody getting hurt, slipping, twisting an ankle because of wetness. Wetness is no good. Uh, I guess I'm not so sure where the wetness came from. I'm guessing maybe a, a player had fallen and some of his sweat had created the wetness. Well, in basketball, you do perspire quite a bit. You do. Dave Byrne, one-on-one. Oh, no, that's a two-on-one. Josh Turner with the ball now with Leo right in his face. He says, Leo, you no match for me, and he gets it to Ryan Minoski. Ryan Minoski directing the chumps at offense. Back over to Josh Turner. Dave who Byrne sneaking into the key. A nice pick set by Josh Turner. And one. What, Brian? And one. That's a huge bucket by JT right there. 56 52, Chelsea. 131 left in this game. If you didn't come out to see this live, you're missing something. You are missing a heck of a game, folks. And that's going to be Lowell's 10th team foul. That means Chelsea will be shooting two fouls, two shots with each foul for the rest of the way. That's called a double bonus. JT not able to put it home. Just couldn't get that one. Number 21 with the ball, he's driving to the hoop. A nice, nice lay-in by number 21. And a timeout is called by Lowell here at Chelmsford, Massachusetts. It's 56 to 54, Chelmsford. They're up two with a minute 22 left in the second half. And we have to go to a commercial break, I apologize, bye. And we're back here at the Chelmsford High School Gymnasium. I hope you enjoyed that recycling commercial. I know I did, I watched it up here in the booth. Both teams are just about to break their huddle and come out for the end of the second half, which should be a doozy. It's 56 to 54. Chelmsford up by two with a minute 22 left. But a minute 22 could be a lifetime if you have timeouts. Especially in basketball, Brian, you know. Gets down to the wire, teams start fouling. Free throws, again, are the difference in a basketball game when it is this close. So true, Drew, so true. 
if I were playing NBA Live 2002, I would probably try to hold the ball for the entire 30 seconds. I would. The shot clock allows you. I'd also put in my best players. Which I believe Chauncey has. They have some excellent ball players out there. Josh Turner with the ball now, who's double teamed. Getting double teamed, finds Pat McGuire, who. Oh, oh. Looking for James Oh, what Barry. a play by James Barry, who's fit into Josh Turner. And, that's and he's fouled. He's, he's fouled bad, he's still down, but he, he hops right back up. Oh, he got hammered on that one, Brian. That's gonna bring the score to, I believe it's gonna be 58 to 54. It's not hit the scoreboard yet. With a minute five left, that's a huge bucket. Actually, I take that back, it is now 56-54. That basket did not go in, it was not and one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it was an and one, Brian. I wish it was. It was not and one material. Josh Turner with the ball. He put it right in there to make the score 57 to 54 with a minute five left. Looking to put his team up four points. This is a big free throw here by Josh Turner. He misses it. Just couldn't quite get it. Pushing the ball. Wolves on a run. Leo with the ball. Back over to big, big guy number 21. Leo thought about the three there. Looked up the clock. Thought better of it. With 33. Misses a big rebound by Pat McGuire with 50 seconds left. Pat's Fouled and he'll be sent to the line. Shooting two. Pat can put a couple of these home. Chelsea would be in good position to take home their third victory of the season. You, know, you hit these free throws, you gotta put them ahead, it could be the difference in the game. Again, free throws, free throws, free throws. James Barry and Rybanowski over to Coach Mickle to uh, talk about the last 49 seconds as Pat shoots his free throws. Discussing strategy, I believe Coach Mickle's going to tell him to try to work the ball around, try to take as much time off the clock as they can. He also could be asking them what they had for supper. He could be asking them what they had for dinner. I know Ryan likes tacos. Tacos are wonderful. 58 to 54. Soft, not crunchy. I also enjoy soft tacos from Taco Bell. 46 seconds left in the, in the game. Chelsea's up four. I can't believe there wasn't some kind of call there as Dave Byrne got thrusted to the floor by the big guy. You know, if anything, it probably would have been a defensive foul, so I'm going to go ahead and say good no call, ref. Now, Lowell has gone to foul and Chelsea every time he touched the ball to try to get the ball back. I don't think with 32 seconds, that's a, I feel you can play defense, maybe steal the ball, and then go down the floor. If James Barry can put these home, he might have the game won. Maybe, Brian, you know, that strategy could work too, but also, you know, following him stops the clock, which gives them more time to come back. You just got to hope they miss the free throws. Nice. James Barry puts it home. 59-54, 32.5 seconds left in this game. James Barry trying to put the chumps squad here by five. He puts it in. James nice Barry's job. had a nice game. The, the, the roll-in technique, I do enjoy that. Again, for you who don't know at home, the clock does not start until the player touches the ball once inbound, and that's a huge three by Louis Martinez right there. Three! Louis Leo Martinez, 60 to 57. Lowell's down three, 26 seconds left. And we're gonna have to send you to break. And we're back. You just saw Smokey the Bear. What a guy. Do not start forest fires. Very informative, Brian. Because forest fires aren't your friends. They don't help anybody. And the poor firefighters have to go out and fight those. And so that would make Smokey the Bear a sad bear. That would make him very sad. Also, the animals that do live in the forest. They might be a little upset. But anyway, we're here back. Both teams are coming out of the timeout. Chumps with the head. Three points. Three points, 60 to 57, as Leo Martinez hit a huge three right before the timeout. Now, it uh, looks like Lowell's going to try to steal this ball on the way in. They are unable to do so. They will. F they attempt to foul Ryan Vidalski, but he's too quick. Oh, yeah, he's got some wheels. And Josh Turner is now fouled. That's Lowell's. I don't know, 12th or so team foul. Oh, it doesn't really matter after 10. Now these free throws here can mean the game, or they could give Lowell another chance. You know, if you hit both these free throws here, Brian, that makes it a two possession game. Yeah, that would be key. And he misses the first one with a big woo call. I believe that. Was that a woo from the Lowell fans? I believe it was a woo. 
Woos would throw me off my game, but we don't have this many fans at CYBL, so there is no woos. You're going to keep your composure here at the line, Brian. This is key. This is a huge, huge free throw. He's not able to connect. Lowell goes on a run with 19 seconds left. A foul is called on Pat McGuire, and he is living. He is not happy with that call, but I'd have to agree with the referee. That was a block. You only get, well, they, Charles, this is only a one and one That's Chelsea's ninth team foul. That I, don't, I don't understand the strategy. Why would he not pull up for three to tie the game with only nine, 16 seconds left in this game? Well, the strategy here was to try to get a shot up, and as you like to say, and one. Uh, I don't know about and one at this point in the game. There's 16 seconds left. The shot clocks are off. Chelmsford is ahead by three. Three. Three, three points. Three big ones, though. Again, 16 seconds can be an eternity. And it, it's, it's good. Well, Lowell now, he's trying to try to pull Lowell within one with 16.2 seconds left in the game. The shot is up. It is good. And a timeout by Lowell. 60 to 59. Chelsea leading with 16.2 seconds left in the game. We're going to send you off to another wonderful commercial. And we'll be back with the end of the game. And we're back. Do you buckle up, Drew? You know, Brian, not usually, but the car I drive does have automatic seatbelts. So you are forced <laughs> to buckle up. That's a nice feature for you. It does save money on insurance. To my next point, 16.2 seconds left in the game. 60 to 59, Chelmsford Lions. Gonna look to try to run out the clock, maybe get a, a, a basket towards the end here. I believe that Lowell will immediately foul. I believe that will be the correct strategy for Lowell as they don't have much of a choice if, if they don't steal the ball. The ball's in the, and he's fouled. So these free throws are now even more important than the last free throws that we said were important. Very much so, Brian, very much so. The intensity builds here in the Conrad Gym in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. At the end of a game this close though, every throw, free throw is important. And we've taken many of them here tonight. 60 to 59, Chelsea's winning, 14.6 le seconds left in this contest. This is a big MVC matchup. Ryan, Ryan Minowski looking to put the Chelsea squad ahead by three. Ryan looks cool, calm, and collected as Coach Mickel calls his, a few of his players over to him to talk some more strategy. I'm sure he's saying you got to get the rebound here. And if you don't, you got to hustle back and play defense because you don't want another buzzer-beating loss like they had on Sunday night. Definitely not, Ryan, definitely not. And uh, Coach Mickles discussing strategy with his players, sends them back over, probably telling them, play smart, no stupid fouls. We don't want to put Lowell at the line. No, you don't. This is, this is insanity. It's the entire Chelmsford squad's on their feet, as you can see in the left por portion of your screen. You know, like I said, Brian, they're playing for pride at this point in the season. What a game. Ryan puts it up. He puts it in. Chelsea now up two. Big free throw by Ryan Vinoski there. And the crowd's responding. They're cheering. It's pandemonium. Even if Ryan hits this with six, 14 seconds left, Lowell will have a chance to tie the game. He does put it home. A timeout is called by Chelsea. I'm sure to discuss their defensive strategies. What a game. 62 to 59 Chelsea. 14.6 seconds left in the game. Two big free throws by Ryan Vinovsky. And we're going to have to send you off to another commercial. Last time I said we we're going to bring you the end of the game. I promise this time we're going to try to bring you the end of the game after this commercial. And we're back here with 14.6 seconds left in the game. Please plant a tree. Save the earth. Abba Day. Yep, yep. Abba Day, Brian. 62 to 59 here. Bulls down three. 14 seconds left. They're going to have to rush the ball off the court and heave a three-pointer, which is behind that big white arc on the floor. Yep, Coach Mako probably telling his player, play smart, challenge the shot should they take the three-pointer, but no stupid fouls. You don't want to put them on the I'm line. I'm feeling a little nervous, Drew. I'm feeling nervous. I'd like to see a chumps would win, because again, we are not impartial. As defense chant is being yelled from the Chelsea fans, Al Wilson, he connects! 
Al Wilson has connect to tie the game at 62 as someone has made a mistake with the clock. See, there is clearly at least five to six seconds left in this game. Drew, can you believe it? Al Wilson, Al Wilson. Huge shot by Al Wilson. You know, the referee's gonna discuss how much time's left on the clock. The Lowell fans are saying there's like three, I, I think there's like six. You know, everybody's probably got a different opinion. Coach O'Keefe's probably begging for 10. I feel 12. I'm thinking 12 here. Yeah. 12 to 15, Brian. But, you know, we're probably only going to get about five or six. That's plenty of time to get a shot off, though. Right now you're seeing on your screen the Lowell coach talking to his players. He knows there's some time left. He's telling them you got to play defense. Don't foul them because we want to send this thing to overtime, especially so me and Drew can have more coverage. And we all know you want that. Did you see right now is Coach... O'Keefe is talking to the referees about the time situation. Oh, they only put two seconds on the clock. There was more than two seconds. I looked at the clock when the basket was hit. Yeah. I saw at least five or six. Well, it's not so much when the basket was hit as when the coach or whoever called timeout called timeout and when the referees heard them. You know, I think we're kind of getting gypped. Again, I'm not impartial. I'd like to see a chumps win, but again, two seconds. There's plenty of time to get a shot off. I love it. Here we go, as the referee's still talking about how much time is le actually left in this ball game as Chelsea's about to break their huddle. I'm hoping to see some last minute heroics. And let's see if Brian Minoski can show up one more time, as I think the ball might go to him, Brian. I, looks, let's see who's passing the ball in. It's gonna be Josh Turner as Lola's gonna play a man defense here. Same and situation as last time, last Sunday night, which I watched. I believe the ball is gonna go to Ryan Vinoski. It does not. Goes, Goes to Pat McGuire, he puts it up. Heaves the shot. It's no good, we're going overtime. Overtime, folks. The Lowell fans are ecstatic about this, their chance to go to overtime. 62-62 as the second half ends. I love it. Both teams are gonna try to insert the proper personnel here to start the overtime session, which I believe will be five minutes by MIAA regulations. Well, do you feel, Drew, that Chelsea will put a, I think they're just gonna keep playing their game and not really change much? I think they're just gonna stick with what's been working, you know? Lowell, they came, they, they hit that big three, you know? What can you say? It was a nice shot by Wilson there. Chelsea is, they've had so many of these games with the last second shot, their last game with two seconds left, the kid hits a jumper, they lose. I'm really hoping that they can stick it stick it to Lowell right here. They are in every game. I think they know that. I'm sure Lowell's in quite a few games as well. Both teams want it bad. We're just going to have to see who can make more buckets. We're seeing a classic here tonight, Drew. A classic. It's a nice view of the scores table there, uh, Mr. Russo and Mr. Morgan. Uh, Chelsea breaks their huddle, and we're going to have a jump ball. Big smile on Louis Martinez's face because he... I don't think he could even imagine that, that they're going to get another chance to win this ball game. What a game, Brian. I can't think of another place I'd rather be. Yeah, i got to tell you the truth. I counted Lowell out with about 14.6 seconds left in the game exactly. You know, I figured it'd just be one of those last, last desperation shots at the end there, last chance. You know, they came out, they kept the composure, and Marcus Wilson hit a three. He did. It's All that's in the past now is Lowell's won the tip here in overtime, which is four minutes. Al Wilson with the ball. Let's see, that's not Al Wilson. Now Leo with the ball, down to number 44, who drives the lane unsuccessfully. And it's a jump ball, which is going to go chunks of the way. That's going to go chunks of the way, the possession arrow, key. Hey, that's a big call at this point in time. Lowell which, staying with the press, going to try to get some easy buckets. This is not like your... your chunks are having no problems with it. This is not like your normal uh, half of a game. Every possession counts in overtime. JT with the ball now. Pat McGuire looks to be setting a pick, which works. Gets the ball to James Barry, who beats his defender. A nice feed into, into uh, the travel. They're gonna say he traveled on that one. I'm not so sure, but you know, doesn't really matter what I think. Dave Byrne called for a travel. Oh my God, 62-62. There's 3.16 left in this overtime session as Chelsea's playing a press. Dave Byrne's all over the place trying to get the ball back. He works just as hard or harder than anyone in the league. Look at this, look at the, oh no. Oh, I thought they were gonna steal the ball there. 
The basket counts. It's 64 to 62. Chelsea's down two. Big bucket. Come on, Chelsea. Let's go. 5.53 left in this overtime session. Still anyone's game. Josh Turner bringing the ball up. Got it by number 21. Pat McGuire for three. Oh, it just misses. That would have been huge. I, I, I kind of feel that Pat maybe should have put it inside, but I don't play basketball. I'm sure his his judgment's much better than mine. You know, I agree, Brian. I don't think that's what Chelsea was looking for, but you gotta you got to live with it now. All you right. Play, you got to play defense and get that one back. Chelsea's down two here, and they steal the ball. Josh Turner, what a play. Nice Look, play by JT. I'm looking for Chelsea to relax here, you know, settle down. They have plenty of time only here in overtime. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Dave Byrne takes it to the hole. He misses a rebound by Lowell. Chelsea's got to get in there and uh, get some bounds. Lowell challenged the shot. It was a good job. Leo with the ball. He's calling some form of play. Looks like a fist. I don't know what that is. Could be a 2-3-2 two, two hammer. We have two minutes to go here in the extra session. Lowell's up by two. Chelsea has the ball. The big man, number 21. He's looking to pull up a three. That's off the mark. Just couldn't get it. And it's over the back on Lowell Chelmsford ball. And that's going to be free throws as the foul situation does carry over into the extra section. I was just going to ask that. So these, these are big free throws. These are big, Brian, with a minute 59 to go. Dave Burns going to be taking these shots. Here we go. What excitement here at the Conrad Gym here in Chelmsford. 33 is fouling out of the game. You only get five fouls, Brian, you know. He, he had a good game. He tried hard. Checking into the game is number 23. Number 23 is Mo Morris. Haven't seen a lot of Mo tonight, Brian. I think Mo's been out there more than me and you think. He's just a silent player. Well, the first one doesn't fall for Dave. Hopefully the second one will. Mo with the uncontested strong rebound on the uh, missed first shot. I don't think Mo knew that there was two shots involved. And Dave puts the second one to cut the lead to one. And Anthony Santos will be subbing in for number 10, Josh Turner. They're bringing in the guards. They're thinking we're going to need to shoot. Josh Turner can shoot himself, but he's not going to get the call here with a uh, minute 56 left in the game. Lowell with the ball. Chelsea's got to press on there. Ryan Van And that's going to be Chelsea's ball. And he never touched it. The well, low coach pleading, but he's, the referees aren't going to have any of it. Leo just missed. That's a big whiff. It was an errant pass, Brian. The ball's passed in. Oh, that was close. That was close to being out of bounds again, but hey, it's not. So hey, let's go with it. Chelsea's got to get it past half court. They do. James Barry with 22 seconds left on the shot clock. Pat McGuire driving the lane. He is fouled. So he's going to go to the line. Good take by Pat. Hey, that's a real good take, especially drawing the foul there. It's definitely, definitely going to do some good things for your team. With one free throw, he can tie the game. Shows his entire squad over with Coach Mitchell. Disgusting the last minute and 36 seconds that are going to be in this game as Pat McGuire stands the line alone, trying to do it for Chelsea here, at least trying to tie the game. Pat McGuire with the ball now. Number 21 uh, might have fouled out. Oh, that, that could be key for Chelsea, number 21. I believe he has fouled out. He's a big presence on the inside. He's gone. He was the no-name player. We were calling Danny Rogers, who <laughs> Danny Rogers could have been 33 who fouled out earlier. We're just not sure. Yeah. We apologize. Uh, again, but, you know, that could be the difference in the game right now as Lowell now has no real inside presence. Dave Byrne rebounds a big rebound, but he gets another shot. That, so. that was a strong rebound by Dave Byrne right there. Practice is our key. He's just staying in practice. 64-63. It'd be real nice if uh, Pat McGuire could hit this shot in and tie it up. I know I wouldn't hit it. But he does because he's good. He gets the roll, and that ties the game at 64 with a minute 36 left. The ball just hit uh, Chelsea Cheerleader as he was doing a little flippy move. That could be dangerous. I hope she's all right. She appears to be okay. Al Wilson passes the ball in to number 44, who's dribbling. Who is it picked off by James Barry? Who is fouled and will go to the line? What a play by James Barry. You know, Brian, big players show up in big situations. Right now, James Barry is a big-time player. The Chelsea fans are on their feet. They're cheering. They're loving it. 
64-64, a minute 29 left in the overtime session. James Berry looking to put the Chumpson squad up by a maximum of two with the two free throws he's shooting now. James Barry looks, it's good. Cash money as the Chelmsford fans erupt. 65 to 64 Chelmsford. Minute 29 to go. James, what a game. James looking to put him up too. He does it. What a guy James. 66, 64. A minute 27 left in this overtime session. Chelmsford staying with the press. Al Wilson with the ball, he drives the lane. Tie game. It's all tied up, really uncontested there with a minute 15 left in the overtime session. The Lowell fans screaming defense, they want it. The Chelsea fans want it, the Chelsea players want it, everyone wants it, I want it. Oh, and Pat McGuire throws the ball away. It was an errant pass by Pat, but you know, just play defense now. He misses it, a rebound by James Barry. What a rebound, James Barry. 55 seconds to go, the game is tied. Chumps it on the fast break, Ryan Vanoski's gonna pull it out. Hey, you got plenty of time. Use, use the clock, use the shot clock. Try to get a good shot. And Rymanowski breaks it up and he scores. Successful play by Thompson. What a, what, a, what a play. Everyone's on their feet, everyone's yelling. This is pandemonium. Al Wilson with the ball, he's driving the lane. He pulls up for a jumper, he puts it home to tie it up at 68. And Timeout, Lowell. What a game. Both teams want it, Brian. They just don't want to go home. No one wants to go home. I don't want to go home. You don't want to go home. I don't know. 68, 68. As we're going to head you out to break, we'll be back with the closing seconds of OT. And we're back here at Chelmsford. If you want your school to be as good as that one that was just on the commercial, you give them a call. They'll straighten your school right out. You know, here at Chelmsford, we do love to learn. I love to learn. Everyone loves to learn. Who doesn't love to learn? But anyway, we're back here. Both teams are going to break the huddle. The game's tied with 28 seconds to go in OT. 68-68. The fans are rowdy. It's going to be Chomsford's ball. I'm going to stand up. What a game. Everybody's getting in their feet, Brian. I'm standing. Chomsford's got the ball now. Ryan Vanoski is going to try to pass it in here. Low he does successfully to Dave Byrne. Dave's looking to give the ball to someone else. Probably a better dribbler. Anthony Santos has got it now with 22 seconds on the clock. It's counting. He passes half court successfully. They're looking to run a play here. Listen, they got all the time in the world. Anthony Santos pulls up. He what hits it. What a shot. He what a shot, shot by Anthony Santos. I think Lowell's out of timeouts. There's seven seconds to go. Five, four, three. To tie it. No. no. And time runs out. And Thompson wins. Thompson wins the game. Thompson there. wins the game here in OT against Lowell. As 70 to 68. As Thompson rushes the court with, with extreme happiness. What a game we've seen tonight. Clutch basket by Anthony Santos. Final what score. What a play. Chelsea what a play. 70. Lowell 68. Of an overtime thriller. Not so much the thriller in Manila, but let's say thriller in Chelmsford. Yes, folks, where we love to learn. What a game, what a shot by Anthony Santos. Chelmsford squad showing no quit in their game. What a game. What a game. And that's gonna end our coverage for this evening. I'm Drew Martino. And I'm Brian Marino. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>